So we're here on this slide, and again, unscripted ramblings. There should have been random unscripted ramblings, but part of the unscripted rambling is the one person who was watching my test, Dorian, did send me a note saying that there's no audio. And I thank him for that. But here we are. Uh, here in an undisclosed location uh, off the Las Vegas Strip in Nevada at the NAB Show 2023. And uh, really, this is a fancy test of the YOLO Live YOLO Box Pro. Um, but I'm taking the opportunity to share some thoughts, some insights, some observations that I've had here while I've been uh, at NAB working on other stuff. So, um, first off, I'd love to give a shout out to the Epifan and Zoom folks that did a great presentation yesterday, and a pretty ballsy one too, and why, why do I say that? Um, they let anyone join the show, live, over video, through Zoom, and it turned out spectacularly. So he had a gentleman join from as far away as Italy, and uh, he was great, asked a question. Um, another gentleman joined from uh, within the U.S., uh, who was a, a podcaster, had a great setup, looked spectacular. Um, I like the fact that, if you take a look here, um, you know, Nick Milani, um, Andy Carluccio, Steve Vonderhaar, you'll see that Nick and Steve are using wired SM58s from Sure. Um, you're like, that seems kind of old school, you know, NAB, you're doing this cutting edge stuff. Uh, not for the NAB show floor. It is a radio frequency cesspool. People are using comms, doing demos, um, wireless transmitters, bonded cellular. You have just frequencies, 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 frequencies. Um, the carriers do a great job of bringing um, cellular on wheels or cows, and the infrastructure there is great. So you're going to see some really good stuff from the show floor. I know that um, uh, Alex and his office hours uh, cohorts are, are here doing a bang-up job. They're working very hard on getting product out, um, product announcements and uh, insights out to people. They're testing a lot of stuff. You know, I, I ran into them in a the newsroom. Uh, it looks really good. But... What uh, Zoom and Epifan did, I think, was heroic and very well done. They had a producer in Ottawa, Canada, who was putting, putting things together and answering questions online. And it was, as I said, very, it was one of the best um, virtual product demonstrations that I've seen come off of the NAB show floor. It was, uh, it was quite slick and organic at the same time. So uh, a lot of what they were doing in the cloud, you know, they kept the quality up by having... Um, a cloud-to-cloud -cloud using um, Zoom's API, cloud-to-cloud -cloud, um, transfer of video and, and audio data. Looked really good. Um, Nick and Steve were on the show floor. Andy Carluccio was uh, in his hotel room. I was watching from my hotel room. Um, someone was joining from their, uh, their studio in, uh, at home. Someone was joining from their business park or their studio there. Someone was joining from across the ocean in Italy, um, completely unscripted as far as who joined or what they would ask, and it went off very well. It looked great. It sounded great. Uh, I like one quote from uh, Andy Carluccio that he, and if you don't know who Andy Carluccio is, he used to be in the DMV or D.C., Maryland, Virginia area. Um, now, I believe, he's on the West Coast, and um, he had a company, I believe it's called Luminum, or Luminum, something like that. Anyway, Zoom bought it. And he's now a uh, Zoom developer and has a product called Zoom um, ISO, which is a great product. His quote was, um, how you appear on this platform is the new suit and tie. So I'm clearly wearing um, a uniform and jeans. So and whatever I decided to throw into my suitcase to, to make this happen so I could finally get around to doing a test of this YOLO Box Pro, but it's, it's a great quote and very true. You know, you've seen some really high and some big corporations, um, executive suite folks, 
you know, the C-suite really shouldn't sound bad, look bad, be bad on screen, be bad on video. Um, Folks are forced into it because of the pandemic, but video is a mainstay of corporate communications now. And Andy's absolutely right. You know, how you look on screen today is the new suit and tie. Um, Black Magic Design. Um, they had a great announcement. Uh, they did some pre-announcements, uh, you know, some, some new product. Uh, two things excited me. One was the ATEM Television Studio 4K8. One of my favorite switchers of all time. I mean, even more than the Panasonic MX50 from back in the day. It was Blackmagic's all-in-one um, ATEM Studio 4K Pro. Great switcher. Um, I could barely keep that one on the shelves. It, it, it had just about everything. Scalers on every input, um, audio input. You know, built-in control surface, you know, the Terranex processing, great product. And this for under five grand, a 4K, eight input switcher with the scalers, the XLR inputs, a full-size T-bar, audio controls. Um, this is a piece of kit that I can see a lot of people using going forward, you know. The, um, the SD versions that can record and stream and switch doing those three things uh, for under four thousand dollars US great I mean you, you can't can't beat that and I have on this slide nothing groundbreaking from black magic but I'll I'll get back to that um, it's also cool to see that um, media ministries were should <laughs> were on the show floor um, here you have the uh, Capitol Hill Media Ministry, and on the right you have uh, Oakwood University, and I believe there's someone here from Breath of Life as well, and it's really cool. You know, this was an organic meeting um, with the Oakwood University folks, and you may have um, run into their programming over the pandemic, uh, Breath of Life Ministry with uh, Dr. Carlton Percy Bird. Uh, had a lot of you know Main Street folks and and broadcasters and that sort of thing on on his program weekly programming, um, but uh, the gentleman here on the right from Oakwood University and the um, pastor here and his team from uh, Capitol Hill Church and I believe the gentleman on the left with the white cap with Breath of Life. Um, look how engaged they look, right? They're clearly having an in-depth conversation, and this is because of the organic networking opportunities that really happen on the NAB show floor. It's, it's interesting, they're meeting in person, um, and they're talking about how to expand their online ministries. Um, but that's the sort of thing that, that happens uh, at NAB every year, and it's great to see that NAB is celebrating its 100th anniversary, and that um, the show floor and in-person meetups are a thing again. What I am excited about from Black Magic is their new offering for SEMT 2110. And it's incredible. For less than 400 bucks, you can put a PCIe card in your computer and have a 2110 workflow. And over to various bridging devices that are out there, you can you know, interface with. Um, the various AV over IP protocols, you uh, know, with NDI, with what have you. Um, for under 600 bucks, uh, you can, over a 10G connection, put out three 1080p streams. Um, that's pretty cool. Uh, the thing that's really been holding back, I think, SMT 2110 in its adoption is really switcher costs, like, like network switch costs and uh, endpoint infrastructure. And I think that Blackmagic with this offering has really addressed the endpoint infrastructure issue. And network switch costs have been plummeting, you know, fast. You know, as, as 10G starts to roll out, we're probably gonna go to offerings, you know, we'll see 25G and 40G that are already there, but the prices I think are gonna come down um, dramatically. Uh, what I'm testing here is the YOLO Live YOLO Box Pro, and it's a neat device. The, the news, though, 
is, I was told from uh, the staff that was there on the show floor that in about 30 days, so about this time in May, you'll have an NDI option for the YOLO Live YOLO Box Pro. Uh, unfortunately, it's going to be a paid update. Don't know what the, the cost is going to be, so it's not going to be a free set of firmware, but it will add functionality to put one of the you know, the biggest AV over IP deployments infrastructure out there. NDI has pretty much taken the industry by storm. A lot of people use it, especially for um, streaming. Um, you know, 2110, you know, that 10-bit that infrastructure and, you know, the metadata that you need and all that stuff for broadcast is great for uh, installations and broadcast installations and broadcast workflow workflow for this is particularly a streaming device the yolo box yolo box pro and the yolo box um ndi is a great addition in fact in my little setup here you know i decided to roll with only stuff i could put in my pocket i have a small sony camera a yolo box and a laptop and that's it right um normally i would have you know probably brought a better mic you know maybe some lights and stuff i didn't want to do any of that but NDI into this would have really cleaned up my cabling a bit and let me be a little more creative as far as what I'd bring in and what I'd be willing to bring in just my workflow. So we'll see how much that costs when it comes out in May and hopefully it's not too much. But I think it really will be a great addition to uh, what has already been, I think, really good uh, updates to the Yolo Box Pro firmware. Random thoughts, barely organized. Um, yeah, this slide is random, and so is this presentation. But hopefully I'm imparting something of interest while I'm doing this stream test. Now, for those veterans of NAB, you know that there are two things that matter a lot when you're planning your NAB experience. One is footwear, and the second is food. I won't really talk about food except for this one thing. Um, West Hall is new. Um, you may know that they pretty much closed down South Hall, which was the um, traditional, I'd say, marquee hall that you know had the really um, large booths from the mainstay vendors. You know, they had the Sony's and the um, Ross and Grass Valley and Black Magic Design and and Red and and you know. Pretty much, you know, the it was the first the hall you first went to was South Hall. They've closed that down. They've opened up a new uh, West Hall, and the cafeteria at West Hall is great. You know, I kept seeing people pass by me with like these little trays of fried chicken in them. Not really a fried chicken fan, but I said, you know, I, maybe I'll, you know, you know, there's only so many Nathan's hot dogs you can eat, so let me check out what this fried chicken thing is. So they have a Vegas version of the Nashville hot fried chicken sandwich that they call the Vegas hot fried chicken sandwich and it is great. It's probably the um, best fast food addition to the offerings here at NAB. I also noticed that they now have um, some vegan stuff on the show floor. They have some kosher food. They, they've, um, they've expanded the, the food offerings. That's important. But let's get back to feet. So um, looking at this chart here, let me make it full screen so we can see it a little better. Uh, you'll see from Wednesday to Tuesday, that's last Wednesday. Um, the Tuesday on the right is yesterday. Um, so last Wednesday, I don't remember what I did, but I didn't move much of anything. I don't know, maybe my feet hurt, I don't know. Thursday I was setting up for a live stream and the loading dock was really far away from the venue, so that put a lot of steps in. Friday was the actual live stream, so wasn't much walking around there because we were ready set up. Saturday, my day of rest. Sunday was the first day that the show floor was open here at um, NAB 2023, and boy did I walk. You see that that one's like off the charts, right? It's way past 10,000 steps. It's just up there, maybe 13, 14,000. I don't know. But did a lot of walking the first day, and the reason for that is uh, the first day I really didn't map out the show, and I wanted it to be as organic and random 
as possible, to be quite honest. And that randomness had me um, run into uh, the CEO of a client from BBC, um, ran into the president of Federal Communications Bar Association, um, ran into a colleague from Texas I hadn't seen ooh, since the start of the pandemic, um, ran into several other folks that I, I hadn't talked to in a while. A lot of organic interactions that had I had done my map, which is usually I, you know organized by hall and then by booth and then I go by row and try to you know put in as few steps as possible getting from venue to venue. Uh, you know, that's, you know, when I'm in a rush, like today, Wednesday is a compressed day, compressed schedule, I'll probably just stick to my plan, which is to do my efficient walk, but it's great. You, you run into new people, you run into products and vendors that may, it may not have been in your list, but it caught your eye, right? And a lot of that was happening on Sunday. So that's why the Sunday stats are um, so high. Uh, Monday uh, is post really mapping out in the NAB app, which is pretty good. You know, you can, it has kind of, I wouldn't say GPS, but um, it has a map that'll track your, your current location and where the booth you want to go to is. So um, using the, the, the app to say, okay, I'm going to go to these various ones, checking off the ones I went to, et cetera. A lot more organized. Tuesday, even more so. Tuesday, some meetings, right? A little more sedentary on... Uh, on Tuesday, so the steps going down. Wednesday will probably be even less, but as you can see, you put them together, it's a lot of walking. I think I averaged like 8,000 steps over over the week, starting with Sunday so far. It's, it's a lot. Um, see on the top right here, these uh, hokas. Yeah, I, I used to make fun of these shoes, and maybe I still do a little bit, because they're like grandpa shoes. They have these really thick, um, really thick cushions. Hokas are the truth, okay? My feet are happy and I've done a lot of walking and I'm not light. So um, it would be my recommendation to anybody, it would be to go to a running store or running walking store, you know, like a, your runner's world, your fleet feet, what have you, that have folks that can professionally fit you. The shoes I was wearing was one, you know, size too small, right? Probably not wide enough as well. And, um, really hurt after you walk a long time. These shoes are awesome. Footwear and NAB go hand in hand. Say that for any large conference, whether it be CES or NAM, uh, NAB, Infocom, what have you, put on good footwear. Right. Continuing with the randomness, um, this structure is uh, being built by the MSG Group, that's the Madison Square Gardens, and uh, the Sands Corporation, you'll know their hotels and resorts. So MSG and Sands, um, building the largest sphere in the world. On the left is a picture that I took yesterday, on the right is an artist's rendering of what the um, superstructure can do, which is covered in LEDs. So these light-emitting diodes can be programmed to display whatever image you want, All right? It's pretty cool. You see there's one you know, showing pretty much a globe, but it's almost done. And it's going to be, I think, spectacular, a spectacular addition to the Vegas Strip. It's just off the Strip. It's just east of the um, Venetian Hotel. And it's uh, a pretty neat thing. You know, one of those random things in Vegas you, you come to and take a look at and say, oh, you know, that's... that's pretty neat. And from an AV perspective, uh, looking behind the scenes and how it was put together, I'm sure it'll be a great tour in subsequent NAB shows. Anyways, uh, this concludes my test. Thank you very much for watching, if you did. Um, so, my thanks and apologies. Uh, but this is it. Uh, if you're at the show, have a great show. If you're leaving, uh, get home safe, safe travels. And uh, this concludes my webcast. Again, this is Colin from Sandy Audiovisual. Take care.